Hello friends, today we are going to see a sample code in Python ideally. Here you can see here you can see that I have three variables x, y and z. x is equal to 34 minus 23. So the result after subtracting 23 from 34 whatever the value is there that will be stored in x after that you will see something in red color which is starting with hash hash stands for comments in python now what are comments comments are non-executable statements meaning they are ignored by the interpreter and the compiler okay Comments are usually written to make the programmer understand or the one who is seeing the program, the comments helps them to understand what is this program about. Just remember that comments are non-executable. So if you start any statement with hash, it will be treated as a non-executable statement. Second, we have y is equal to hello, which is put in double quotes. It is a string. We are assigning this value hello to the variable y. z is equal to 3.45. It contains a decimal point, so it is called as a float. First one is integer, second one is string and the third one is z. All these three are called as variables. What are variables? Variables are the placeholder. And what did they do? They store some value inside the memory. So if we want to store something in the memory, if we want to do some mathematical calculation, we are going to make use of variables. Fourth line is a if condition where we are trying to check whether the conditions are true or false. Here we have or in between. The meaning is if any of this condition like if z is equal to equal to 3.45 or y is equal to equal to hello. From these two conditions if any one is true then it is going to increase the value of x by 1 and it will add this hello uh, it will add this word to hello here plus since y is a string plus will result in adding of two string values here x is integer so one will add one value will be incremented in this so now the what will be the value of 34 minus 23 that is the assignment to you and what will be the output of x and y okay that's all for today thank you